Hey, yo, so check this out right here. We are back with another video. Now, this is going to be the same day as I did the last video. I'm sure so, there's going to be two videos recorded in one day. Now, I'm about to meet Taya uh, Lottie's. We got some stickers to put on the car. So, like the YouTube sticker, Instagram sticker. And uh, we're going to put those on the car. I don't know if Ty want to do anything else after that. Like, you might ride around the city for a little bit and just, I don't know, mess around. But we're on the way over there right now. I'm going to tune back in with y'all. Or should I say tap? I'm going to tap back in with y'all. When we get over there and when we get settled and stuff like that, I want to show y'all the stickers. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see y'all in a minute. I just want to open up the video and everything like that so y'all will be caught up and I won't just be rushing the same thing else. Y'all, we just pulled up to Pack Punch Performance Garage and, uh, Y'all see the car? It looked very, very dirty. Like, you know. <laughs> it just, it's just dirty. I don't got no excuse for y'all. But I'm going to show y'all the window stickers and where we're going to put them at. So we got just the YouTube logo and the Instagram logo. It's going to go, like, right around here. So right here, both of them. And uh, they, these is it right here. So I ain't going to lie. I feel like these is, like, a better font than, like, the last ones I had. The last ones done by a person, not a company. But... It's smooth regardless, though. We're going to put those on on both sides. Tosh money. Shout out to K-Rod. It's over here chilling at Pack of Punch Performance Garage. And my guy doing a, a, a chrome delete on the Durango. So he got this fixed. Boom. That piece up there blacked out. That's blacked out. He's still working on that one. So... My guy, y'all know, I come to him every time to get my work done. Pack Punch Performance, he gonna give you chrome deletes, window tint, stars, anything to customize your car, my guy can take care of you. So this is how it's gonna go. So a lot of people come to him, waste their time. So you're gonna DM him, right? Boom, tell him what kind of car you got, what you want done to it. He gonna be like, all right, it's this much. Send a deposit to take you serious. You know, and it's just simple like that. And within a few weeks, or not even a few weeks, a few days, or whatever, however it go, he'll get you in here and get you taken care of. So anything to customize a car, he can get you right. Tail light tent, anything. Y'all see, he turns up the 300, and now we're going to work on his car next. Then, like, look at the stars. Like, y'all see all these boxes? I promise y'all, all these boxes are empty, man. So he ain't just buying these and collecting them for no reason. These are, like, kids he done did already. So, if y'all want shooting stars also, he got that too. Twinkle stars. Anything y'all want to customize the car, just hit him up. He gonna get y'all right. If you got stars in your car, you got a sunroof, he can put the stars where the sunroof at. You don't gotta have a gap in your sunroof. Or your, your uh, headliner, right? Yeah. So, anything y'all need done, hit him, my guy. Three hours later. So I pulled up to the gas station, grab my little drink, and I get out the car and I hear, hey, yo, eBay. So this guy said, you've been watching since the 300, right? Thank you for the support. He got... Can I get a little pull? One week later. Hey so we at the auto shine. It's getting the car clean now. I know y'all see the title. I know y'all see the thumbnail. Y'all like, man, eBay, what happened? But let's get the car washed. And then we're going to do like a little POV drive and tell y'all what's going on with the car. Because... Your boy got into an accident. I'm not uh, proud of it. It's kind of a long story, so I'm going to let y'all know what's going on in one second. So we can get in and out, and I'm going to have all his uh, stuff in the description of the video. So it's Instagram, everything like that, how to contact him if you want a nice, clean car wash. This ain't the first time I let him touch the car. So we're going to do it in and out real quick. Started the washing phase, and also we just put water on the car. We as in me. Like, he getting the car all washed up right now. We're going to put the soap on there. Caliber brake dust is crazy man i'm already knowing it's late i don't know if y'all seen but i just had my phone out and then the cop look right right in my eye god damn i know he ain't coming for me come on man and i'm right in front of the department he ain't know nothing so damn check this out y'all he's turning around he gotta be turning around he gotta be turning around damn <laughs> So, we in the car. We have my guy D2 uh, clean the car. I'm going to leave all his info inside the description like I told y'all. I just know damn well he not waiting on me down here. 
hopefully you just turned into their little police department but it smells so good in here and it's just so fresh like i go i need a detail bad as hell like so we all see we got the car looking all good you know i got the little snacks right there a little bit of oreos in arizona don't worry about all that but go somewhere so we can just sit and just talk i need to explain the story to y'all like it was a crazy ass accident, man. That is sitting, I'm gonna just drive and tell y'all. Let me put this seatbelt on. I know it's gonna start making a noise. If we get too deep into it, let's just go back to here. Okay, went eco. So, man, uh, basically, I was uh, on my lunch break, boom. So I, I, I leave my lunch break, go get gas. So I get on 94 and I feel my car just coming from up under me, like sliding a little bit in the rear. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna thug it out. I got two more miles. Okay, boom. I get off my exit, go get gas at Sam's Club. Now, if y'all got me on Instagram, y'all seen the story. If not, I'm leave my Instagram on the screen. Go follow my Instagram to get the behind the scenes of videos and stuff like that. So, I get the gas, boom. I'm driving down uh, grass shit. Go head to 94. So, now I'm going 94 west, boom, to, to get back to my job. So, I can just feel the car coming from up under me again. I'm like, this shit feeling scary. I'm gonna just get off the freeway, take the server drive all the way down. I'm gonna be smooth. I don't gotta worry about the, the, the traffic on the freeway. I don't gotta worry about them breaking hard. I don't gotta worry about my car slides. I ain't going that fast, even though I was only going like 45. So I'm like, I don't gotta worry about all that. I'm gonna just take the service drive and be cool. I rode the service drive for a few miles and I'm like, damn, this shit ain't even realistic. I'm so far from my job. It's rainy, I can't go too fast whatever so this is where i messed up at man so i'm gonna tell y'all this anytime y'all got a gut feeling go on that gut feeling and do not go back so what i did was i got off the freeway boom got on the server drive for a second and got back on the freeway so y'all know how 94 is going west i think it was at like harper and casual exit or something like that um now i wasn't on my phone I, I had didn't have the music on like i think the music on was like real low i didn't have the music loud nothing because i knew i had to focus and pay attention so keep up with me i feel the car come from up under me the car go right and i'm like shit it was a car in my right lane so i couldn't go right with the car like i wasn't i couldn't slide into the next lane so i'm like shit okay uh i gotta go left so the car go right I'm trying to go left to make sure the car is steer and try to get straight in the car back up, man. And by me going left just a tad bit, I didn't hit the brakes. I know if I hit the brakes, I was going to really slide. So I just rolled it out and I went left, a little bit left. Like, I know not to go hard left because that would have just twirled me around. So I went left a tad bit. It's all it took. And the ass in, not even the ass in, the front of the car just kicked out to the right. I tried to make it go left to like, clear it up, and it just was on a wild ride after that. So I did a whole 360. My passenger door was on the median of the freeway. I did a whole 360. So I'm sliding in slow motion, like I feel my car sliding. Once I felt that I couldn't stop myself from hitting the wall, I cocked the wheel all the way to the right. So mind you, I'm telling y'all my right passenger side was on the median. So I cocked my wheel all the way right, hoping and praying to God I can just make the car rim hit off the uh, median and not the car. So that's how the car don't got no damage because the rim bounced off the median and not the car. So into the accident, boom. Now it's just, it's just late and this big old, what was it, like a suburban truck. She blocking traffic like this, like blocking all lanes of her big suburban truck. So I can like, turn around and like get out the way so my first mom was to get out the car look at the car right but i gotta remember it's wet it's raining hard uh i'm, I'm holding up traffic so i couldn't just get out and look at the car but i wanted to so freaking bad i'm thinking i felt that side hit the car i'm thinking like bro what's wrong with the car can i even drive it i, I thought the wheel came off like i'm i don't know what's going on i'm thinking like maybe the wheel came off the car maybe this maybe that so I just took the car from the median onto the shoulder. Got out the car, looked at the car, the car looked good. I was praying to God I didn't hit the quarter panel. Like, I can get a new front bumper, I can get a new headlight, I can get a new door. Everything is replaceable I can do in my backyard. But if you hit that quarter panel, that's gonna be a lot of money. And then like, 
that's just going to be some crazy stuff. I'm when I had the car, I had to put the car inside the shop. So that's not something you want to do. I was just praying to God I didn't hit the quarter pedal, but luckily I just scraped the rim up and, and that was it. The car is still perfectly fine. And now the only thing I do have, I do have a tiny little scratch in the front bumper, it's like a little bit of white paint. And I'm gonna try to get some gasoline to rub that on out, but I'm so thankful, man, because it could have been worse. Like I'm gonna show y'all the little war room, which ain't nothing too, too bad, but I I'm just grateful it happened how it happened because I couldn't even be here right now making content. And that's why I say, love everything you have, but don't overdo it. By me saying that, like, be humble because everything you have, you can lose. That go for family, friends, materialistic stuff like this. Just crazy, man. That was my first time ever getting into an accident. I never got into an accident. I wasn't under any type of influence of anything. I don't do none of that. And it, it was just, a crazy experience so i'm just in the car that's on the rod like i'm trying to steer you know what i'm saying and i don't know i just thank god i'm all right man because i don't know it, it, it was definitely a crazy experience man and when i just hit the wall i sat there for like 10 seconds like what the f like what did i just do what just happened so basically the car just hydroplane and so basically my phone stopped recording because uh it was full of space so I'm gonna get back to the point. So basically your car can most definitely hydroplane if you don't have a rain tire. So don't think I'm just a bad driver or I was just outside tripping. I'm not stupid. I know if it's different rainy conditions, I um how to drive. So I've been driving since I was 16. I'm 23 now. So it's not like it's my first time out here. I've, I've been outside, I've been driving, I've been driving through the, the damn hail, snow, all that. I never got into an accident before. So all that, you know what I'm saying? That trolling shit, y'all can save it. So I'm not going to try to hear it in the comments. I'm just being serious. So that's what basically what happened. The car just did a full 360 on me. And uh, I'm just thankful there was nothing else. So now we broke a tire rod. So the inner tire rod on the passenger side was broken from hitting the, the wall. So I guess the rim hit the wall. And as soon as I'm trying to turn around and go to the shoulder, I felt the car just driving like crazy. And I just limped it on home, whatever. But we ended up breaking that. I think I showed y'all me going to AutoZone or I showed y'all some type of little behind the scenes or something. If not, I'm gonna show everything right here. So we gotta just splice that wire right there into the new connector. All three of these wires, there's three wires here. Right. And then everything else under there is smooth, and we got to need a uh, wheel aligner, which I'm about to get. Oh, yeah. And then fix the tie rod, and we all smooth and we set. Mm -hmm. That's the end of the tie rod there. So this supposed to be all like shirt. Yeah, like in the box. It's supposed to be like that, and we got it like this bent. That's crazy. Oh yeah, you putting this on your shit, ain't you? Yeah. So boom, y'all see everything. I'm just glad everything working out. and. Man, we back on the road. This happened Saturday, and today is uh, Monday. Y'all can get this video on Tuesday. So Y'all can get this video tomorrow. So, damn, man, it's just, I don't know. It, it's just crazy. Sometimes you got to just thank God and whoever you, you believe, you know, and, and just be happy. Certain things work out the, the way it did. What? Yeah, good job, man. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't wilding. Wallet. It's a little, e a little eco pool. Hope I ain't shriek the window. That's a little eco pool, but I don't know everybody in the city just love Mopar. It's like, man. Um. So back to what I was saying. It's just crazy. I feel so freaking blessed, and, and man, um, just, just I thank God so much. So hopefully this video ain't gonna be too short. I really don't got nothing else to do. I kind of want to be more on a serious level with y'all and let y'all know how everything gonna go with the car and everything like that, but everything is good. I got a war room, I'm gonna show y'all in a second. And then yeah, besides that, man, we all good. Look at this guy, you finna get me to another accident, man? And now I'm gonna get the wheel liner today because we need a new wheel liner because it, it, it got tore off, whatever. So it ain't nothing, man, it's just baby stuff. I'm just glad I'm still here, the car is still cool. And uh, I don't know if I scared none of y'all because y'all, my, my DMs were literally 
going crazy, but man, it's just crazy. I, I don't know. I don't want to keep dragging the video or nothing like that. So I'm going to get out in a second and show you all what's going on, what war room we got. And then, yeah, come on, man. Y'all want to walk. Like, y'all y'all don't put me in our odds. Play bowling. I'll take the seatbelt off you and start beating. But we're going to hop out real quick and show y'all what happened. You know what I'm saying? And show y'all the damage of the accident. And, uh, yeah. I'll hop out real quick and smooth. So like y'all see, we just got the car nice and detailed. Man, the car looks so good. So shout out to my guy. Only everything he have inside the description, like I showed y'all. But man, this, so this is what we working with. So by this rim hitting the, the sidewall, we got a curb rash, which is, I don't know how to feel about it. Of course it's bad, but it definitely could be fixed. Like I could have lost my life. Thing over here crumbled. Everything could have been bad, you know? So we have that and just this right here, a little war room. I'm probably never getting that fixed. That's gonna stay on this car as a war room, unless we wrap the whole car. But as far as painting the car, painting the bumper, none of that, that's gonna be a war room. That, that's gonna just be the car war room. This ain't a 2023, this ain't gonna be fresh off the lot. The car need to be paint corrected. So we might get that fixed when they get paint corrected, but it is what it is. So. Besides that, the whole car is pretty much good. Like nothing else got messed up. I gotta stay thankful and just stay blessed up and pray. Cause man, I was not expecting for me to go through this. You know what I'm saying? I want to go where we was at when we crashed, but y'all see, if y'all from the church, y'all know 94 is like way down there, ways away. So I ain't gonna do that. It just, it is what it is. The car looks pretty good. The car is clean, man. And, Man, the car, this this black looks just so freaking beautiful. Like, it just looks crazy. All right, man, we know the king in here. Cool yo, happy ass out, man. Damn. But let's get the seatbelt pulled back on. <sighs> man, Uh, so we probably coming up to the end of the video. I just want this to be a nice little short video. And we're going to get back to the regular, regular, you know, uploading program every, what was it on? I think it was on every, I think I'm trying to go for every other day. But we're gonna be dropping videos. Oh, this is a steep ass hill. Damn. Okay, we ain't scraped. I would heard it. But man, uh, I don't know. I pretty much don't know what to say. So we're gonna end the video off just like that. I'm just thankful for everything is good. Why they got the suburbs looking like the hood? What's going on, bro? Like, <laughs> look crazy. But without further ado, man, I want y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hope I ain't scared none of y'all. Especially if you know the game. If you know the game, I appreciate y'all. Some of y'all like, y'all comment, y'all subscribe. Click that bell. Let's get all the post notices on so y'all don't miss a freaking video out below. Because the channel been doing so good. And that's why I don't take stuff for granted. Because just look how fast I could have lost everything. So I'm only going to be using this car for card content purposes only. Night POVs and just videos and stuff like that. Because this is a business car. This is for my business. This is for my brand. I, I don't need stuff happening like it happened the other day. So my, my goal is to minimize as much bad stuff that can happen to this car. So this car will be pretty much put up after I get my new little shooter. It's a car so I can shoot around town, go to work, come home, and take care of my business. When I want to do car content, that's why I'm going to pull this car out. This car is going to be put up. I got to treat it like a business car. This is my investment. I cannot be having car crashes, car accidents, this and that. I, I, that's just stuff I can't afford to happen to me. So my goal on YouTube, I need to be consistent. I just need to be head in the game. So this definitely kind of slowed me down and put my mind on the right track because it really just showed me what I could have lost in a blink of an eye, literally. But without further ado, man, um, hope you all like this video. I, I know it wasn't too much of a crazy video or nothing like that, but man, I just had to get this video out. Y'all been worried, you know, I was worried. I was hoping I didn't do nothing too, too crazy. And damn, come on, Warren, y'all gotta get this together. But we out of here, like, comment, and subscribe. It's eBay shot, and man, I appreciate all the love. I appreciate all the support. Man, 2023, this summer gonna be crazy. Just stick with me, trust the process. Y'all gotta know God did, you know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. And you see, I got my blinker on. I get out here and 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be from. I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. This video is over. This video is done. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. And uh, I think we got a mini little road trip coming up. So stay tuned for that. What's that? A five on. seven. You going brazen? Look good though. But I see y'all soon. See y'all when I see y'all. And we out. I ain't into the cap and let's keep it real. He could have held us man down. He took a deal. That's why I can't show nobody how we live I got the news from my sister, it gave me chills Gang off y'all pills, fucking up parties, it's just a thrill He popped his hands and I dog itching to do a drill